They started their meeting on a really rainy, rainy summer day. And so it was pouring outside. I'm Sarah Crawford, and I've been volunteering for the last 10 years for Constitution Week. And I come to the schools um, dressed as Abigail Adams, and I teach the One, kids about two, the Constitution three. and about the freedoms that it protects. Yeah, I bet some of you guys even knew before I showed it, huh? We have the half hour lesson, and I love to hear um, all their ideas and all their thoughts on the Constitution and on freedom and, and America. To put more protections in where the government couldn't get out of control. And who knows what those are called? We get great responses when I ask them different questions throughout the presentation, get their own thoughts on things. It's really fun. Did you guys know that one of the ideas they had for our country was to have three presidents of the United States? I teach them about how America became the most free country and the most prosperous country in the world and how the Constitution was really a huge part of that and the freedoms that it protects and how that set Americans free to go out and innovate and create and live free, full lives that changed the world. He was the first vice president and the second president. So that makes me the first second lady and the second first lady. Abigail Adams was born in 1744 in Weymouth, Massachusetts. And she wasn't able to go to school because she was sick all the time as a child. But she learned how to read and write from her father. And it's really interesting how she was mostly taught at home, but she came very, very educated and ended up you know, being the wife of the second president of the United States and being the mother of the sixth president of the United States, John Quincy Adams. And so I just love, I love Abigail. Um, she's such a strong person. She valued being a mother. It was very important to her to raise her family. Her and her husband risked a lot for our country. And there's so much that the kids can learn not just about the Constitution, but about the Constitution from her viewpoint and how it changed the world, how it changed her life, and the things that she and her family sacrificed to help bring about that freedom and that document.